Right, hi there, welcome back. Okay, for midweek this week, I'm gonna inject a very quick simple skills video because this has been a suggestion in several of the recent Project Fox Dog videos in the comments to use this particular product for removing stains and dirt and rust and all sorts of things from stainless steel. Now, it's something I've never heard of. So thank you goes to two people who suggested this repeatedly. That's Mr. C to Road, thank you very much, sir, and Michael Brown, one of our wonderful patrons. Both of you said, use this stuff. Harpic Power Plus 10, which is a lime scale bleach type bathroom product for your household that is apparently the best in the world ever. And by the look of the big black scary bottle, it probably is. And apparently this removes everything that you don't want from stainless steel. And brings it up like new. A couple of people commenting to their comments said, yeah, me too. One guy said, I've got a KTM, you know who you are, and the exhaust looked like it had been dragged out of a canal, and it cleaned it up like absolutely brand new. I love that, because normally the only way that you can clean stainless steel is with abrasives. Abrasive polish, abrasive scuff pads, and things like that, and then you've got all that satiny matte finish from the scuffing, and you have to polish that out. So if you've got stainless steel pipes like that, and they get that yellow tarnish to them, how do you get it off? So I'm not gonna waffle on too long, because I don't know whether this works either. I've never heard of it, only from what you've said, so I'm gonna do this as a simple skills today. So I'm gonna learn while you learn. Let's see if Harpic Power Plus 10 Better Than Bleach Lime Scale Removing Fluid Take stains off stainless steel. Let's have a go. Right, safety first. We're gonna glove up because reading the instructions on the back, it contains 9% hydrochloric acid, which tells you that it's probably gonna work. So gloves on. I know I should probably have a plastic pinny, like Nana. <laughs> But I'm going to suffice with some eye protection and some hand protection. Now, uh, also on the bottle, I'm reading through it, it says that it also takes rust off. Now, I like the idea of that. Apparently this removes rust as well. Now we all know that white vinegar, distilled white vinegar removes rust, but apparently this is even better. So let's see. First thing I'm going to do on mild steel is see if I can get some rust off. Now this is a little bit of one and a half mil sheet metal that I use for fabricating. And if you look on the back of it, you come in close, Ben? Now as you know, if you've got steel yourself, mild steel, and you keep it in stock for fabricating purposes, you have it for years, sometimes sitting there on the shelf, and you get this, this kind of rust patina, which it gets on it, just from the atmosphere, just damp. So let's see what it's like getting that off. Little blob of it, <laughs> yeah. And there we go. Just gently rub that around with an old toothbrush. <laughs> oh my God, check that out. A little bit more. It literally just scrubs it off. Check it out, baby. That's taken about three seconds. Oh my goodness. Here we are. Check it out. It literally wipes the rust clean off and no abrasive at all, that's nice. What I like about that is it takes the rust off with no abrasion whatsoever. So if you wanna use this metal and fabricate something with it and then polish it, you haven't got to polish out all the scratches from scotch brights and whatnot that you might normally use to clean off rust. I know vinegar does the job, but we're here today to see if this does the job, and yes it does. So it definitely, definitely takes rust off. It is a big job for it, we'll take that one. Glasses back on. Let's check this one out. Now coming in close, this is a little welding test or exhibition that I did a long, long time ago. This was on the MIG welding how-to and I just showed it for some of that. Now if you've welded a piece of steel, very often you might notice that it rusts intensely around the welds later on. So that is really, really bad. So let's just see what it's like at getting that off. Look at it, hang on, I haven't touched it. Check it out. <laughs> check that out with your finger, it literally oh wipes the rust away. Actually, let's just get a tissue. You don't even need the toothbrush, look at that. Absolutely spotlessly clean metal. Like brand new with a paper tissue. Oops, no need for the toothbrush or any abrasive action whatsoever. My goodness me. Check that out. That de-rusted that in seconds, just with a tissue. Incredible stuff. So we know and we can definitely say, yes, it removes rust from steel. Absolutely chuffed with that. Another little test for it, copper. 
This is a piece of copper sheet that I use as a heat sink. When you're welding sheet metal, often you need to put some copper or aluminium or something behind the sheet metal to absorb the heat and stop it blowing holes in it. So this is a skanky old piece of copper sheet that I use. Let's see what it does to that. Oops, the lid off. A little bit of that. Now the reason I'm thinking this might work is if you've got copper or brass parts on your bike, does it work on non-ferrous stuff? Yeah, that's good enough, look at that. Cleans it up a treat. Now I would say that probably, with a little bit of effort, that would come up shiny and brand new. I mean that piece of copper has been murdered loads of times, heat cycles to death. It's all tarnished on that side. So it takes the tarnish off of non-ferrous stuff as well, and I should imagine it work on tarnished aluminium. But the real test, and the test that you guys said works the most, let's get some more paper, was on stainless steel. This is the old header pipe for the old Yamaha XJR Turbo that I had. I put a new one on it, so this is the old original header pipe. So if you come in on this, this is the finish that I think is gonna be the issue. When you look at this color, if you've got a Suzuki Bandit or any bike with a stainless steel exhaust, you get this. This yellowy, gold, bronzy sort of tarnish. It's not rust, it's not corrosion, it's just a tarnish that gets on the metal from constant heat cycles. So let's see what it does with that. And this is what I'm told it's brilliant on. Just gently with a toothbrush. Now let's not forget that obviously something like this might need time to soak. It might work better if it has time to soak, but you can see straight away, immediately, without any hard work whatsoever, it's bringing that up. The white sort of silvery, shiny looks coming back. Check it out, there we are. Straight away on that edge. Let's get some in there. This is the sort of thing that you just suffer with if you have a Bandit, Suzuki Bandit or a Phaser, any bike with a stainless set of headers. This yellowy finish is the bane of your life. It's always there. Normally it's abrasives that are gonna leave a scratched up finish. But this, a little bit of effort like that, just seems to get rid of it. Right, I think there we are. You can see it has a definite effect on it. It really does. But I would say, from that as a test, I'd say you need, on the stubborn areas, you really need to focus on it, take some time, perhaps leave it to soak. Now obviously what we're trying to do with this, what I was hoping this would do, is avoid the use of abrasive pads. You can always clean the exhaust, stainless steel exhaust, with scotch pads. You clean them up with scotch pads, then you get the auto sole, bit of mother's polish, and you get it all nice and shiny again. But it is absolutely the devil's own job. It takes hours. It's a lot of hard work. Now, there usually are no easy fixes in life, but this, oh my goodness, it really looks like it is. You know, for rust removal, for taking that off, I love it. Now, one thing that's common in these, all of these exhausts, looking along here, is if we take that as a piece of the original pipe, that nice silver shiny look. You get this general yellowing. You get that on a stainless exhaust anytime. So let's just see if we can. If we take, not so much the header pipes where it's really bad, but just a quick wipe like that along the regular part of the exhaust. <laughs> look at that, oh my goodness. In a few seconds. Boom, straight away. Look at that. Like brand new shiny steel. So the conclusion, as far as stainless steel is concerned, is that yes, it does. This stuff, Harpic Power 10, there you are. Gets all the tarnish and the yellow off. Areas that are 
pretty bad. They have oxidized a lot, super hot areas. This was a collector coming out of a turbocharger. That's how hot that got. And there are areas of it which have tarnished and oxidized badly, so that might need some abrasive on it. But I imagine that the effect of an abrasive with this would be absolutely devastating. Then you polish up and you're gonna get a mirror polish shine back straight away. Okay, chuck that to one side. I think we can safely say that on removing rust on mild steel and cleaning up ferrous metals, sorry, non-ferrous metals, is absolutely fantastic. On cleaning stainless steel, yes, it definitely works. It takes everything off stainless steel, gets it nice and shiny, but only the heaviest oxidized areas would need that extra little bit of attention. I don't know how long soaking it it would need, but if you soaked it overnight, I can't imagine you can do much harm to it, but soaking it may well get it off altogether. So that's a further time-based experiment we haven't got time to do now. But something else it says on here is also with removes dirt buildup and rust. What I've got here, these are the four bolts that hold the exhaust silencers on the Harley onto the brackets. And they are, they are rusty and skanky and horrid and nasty. So I'm gonna take Granny's roasting tin and give them what for, see if it makes a difference to these, because it ought to. Right, so they're all coated up now. Gonna leave them to soak, and in the meantime, I'm also gonna do these. These are the stainless steel exhaust brackets from the Harley, and obviously they've all got this kind of corroded staining on, which, let's have a look at that bit. Careful not to flick it on your clothes, obviously, because you get lots of little brown spots and <laughs> holes in your jeans. That's coming off all right as well. Right, that's got a coating of it all over that stuff, and I'm gonna leave those to soak, because there's one more little experiment I wanna do now, and I wanna have a look at my Harley exhaust, because that's what I started talking about this for. The exhaust header pipes on the Harley are really bad. They're blue all the way down, they've got corrosion and rust, so let's get some plastic in the place to protect the rest of the bike, and let's get a little bit of this on there and see if it actually works on a really badly corroded header pipe on the Harley. Right, the Harley exhaust has got all the colors of the rainbow, corrosion, uh, 25 years of life in that, so let's see what it does. Pop a little bit on there. Now that's not taking any of it off. It's kind of brightening it up a bit, making it more shiny and noticeable. But it's not changing the color. It's not bringing back a nice silver sheen. So let's try a little abrasive pad on top of that. So a combination of abrasive and this stuff and see what happens. Ah, there we go. So with an abrasive scotch pad, it is getting at it now. It's just a little bit of elbow grease. There we are. Okay, so as a simple skills, there it is. Harpic Power Plus 10 Lime Scale Remover it takes tarnish and dirt off your stainless exhaust. Yes, it does, definitely. Thank you for that. As marks out of 10, I'd say eight or nine, mainly because with the mild steel, absolutely fantastic. That pre-welded piece of steel that had rusted horribly, you saw yourself, it just wipes away with the finger. I'm thinking that would have a fantastic application if you're welding an old exhaust system on an old car or a truck or something, you need to weld it up, or a piece of chassis member or something that's got a crack in it, you need to weld it for a repair. You don't want to go getting a grinder in there, or maybe it's too tight in a space, you can't get a grinder in there, a little bit of that in there, and it will chemically take all the rust away and leave it that clean. And you know you can't weld through rust, so that's essential. So that's a great option, something that we didn't fathom on at the beginning of this video. If you're welding something, this is fantastic for cleaning the metal before you weld it. However, you absolutely positively must wash it off. Remember this is hydrochloric acid, 9%, and it will leave a residue on the metal. If it dries, it dries itself, but 
there's a dried on residue on there. And when you start welding in that, that's gonna give off a pretty poisonous gas. So take some water and wash it completely and thoroughly before you go anywhere near it. Brake cleaner, thinners, whatever you wanna use. Water's fine, it's water soluble because it's a household product, but make sure you wash it off if you're gonna weld on it afterwards. Same goes for your exhaust. If you're gonna use it to clean your exhaust like this, obviously you don't want a residue of dried on this stuff on the exhaust when you go firing up the engine and heating that up because it's gonna it's going to give off a gas and that's pretty poisonous so make sure you wash it as i said it's water soluble so just wash your bike afterwards if you've cleaned and got all your exhaust up like that nice and shiny then all you need to do afterwards is the normal washing procedure soap and water get all this stuff off before you heat it up i think we all know that's pretty common sense as far as this is concerned these skanky old bolts these old exhaust nuts and bolts and brackets it's done a good job they were really horrendous how many times have we thrown exhaust brackets away and bought new ones when actually they're just dirty? And they are fabulous now, nice and clean. I'm gonna take the bolts out myself properly. I'm gonna do these again. I'm gonna get them absolutely perfect. That's it's a bit more leisure than today. And then that when it all goes back on the bike, it will be like brand new and save me quite a lot of money. These are specialized bolts. They kind of got a dome head and a captive under piece underneath. They definitely would cost quite a bit of money to replace. So I can clean this stuff. Thanks to this, so thanks for that advice, Cedar Road and Michael Brown. Thank you for the advice, I really appreciate it. This has been a Simple Skills. Anything you, Pen? Have a shiny day. Have a shiny day, <laughs> love that. Take it easy, ride safe. See you next time. I don't know, I don't know, don't ask me, mate, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, don't ask me, mate, I don't know, I don't know, I haven't got a clue, mate, I don't know, I don't know, don't ask me, I haven't got a clue, mate.